it's Alele. Welcome back to my channel. I have a massive summer haul for you guys today. Uh, this is everything I bought during Black Friday sales, Boxing Day sales, when I went to my trip in Melbourne, and just some other bits and pieces I've compiled in the last three months. I also thought it'd be fun to talk about my current favourite music and albums and shows and movies I've been watching. First up are uh, clothes. General Pants was having a sale, so I got plenty of items from them. This piece is from A Brand, and I absolutely love the color. It's a little cropped tee in a fluoro green kind of thing. I really love the quality and the thickness of this shirt fabric. So much that I got it in purple as well, and I would get it in so many other colors if they came out with more colors. I would get them. And then I got this brown skirt from Neon Heart. I like it because it's not too long and it's adjustable. It has these like cute built buckle details as well. If you look closely, it's a little bit striped as well. Then I got this really pretty cream midi skirt, also from General Pants. And if you look closely, it's like pleated. It's a cream color. It's kind of shiny as well. I haven't worn this out yet, but I'm excited to wear this. And then finally from General Pants, I also got Dickies. I don't know what they're called. Let me... Okay, so I tried searching it up, but I was just too lazy to figure out the name. But I think it's just like the black work pants. They were so cute. I wore them to like Melbourne and stuff. But ever since I came back from my trip, I couldn't find them. I tried to find them just then for this video and I couldn't find them and I'm so sad. Um, but I'm sure like my mom probably uh, put it into my dad or my brother's closet. It's somewhere, but I don't know where it is. But thankfully my friend actually has some old Dickies pants that he wants to, I guess, give away. So I guess if I can't find them, now's the time to pick them up for my friend's house. And then finally, for pants, I got these denim jeans from Thrills. I've been needing new denim pants for a long time. I finally got them and I'm so happy with the fit. They fit at the waist really nicely and they flow really nicely and they flare just a little bit at the bottom and they're the perfect length for me as well. So I am super happy with this purchase. And now uh, this isn't a new purchase, but I thought I'd talk about them anyway because favorites, current favorites, current babes. And this is a Princess Polly white maxi midi skirt um, that is cured. And I got this for my birthday last year. And I think I've been loving it for summer because it's so like, it's an airy and it makes me feel so pretty. I got this luxurious coat from Princess Polly. It's faux leather, it's got these faux fur trims on the sleeves and on the collar here. And it just makes me feel so bougie. It's a really cute going out at night coat. And it's belted as well so you can cinch it in if you want to look snatched. And then Booty had a 30 to 50% off sale, so I had to get something. If you don't know about Booty, they sell sustainable bamboo underwear and they're like, the pieces are literally so soft. Like you have to like try it for yourself to feel the difference between bamboo underwear and maybe like your normal cotton underwear. Um, it's like literally so comfortable. <laughs> Most of it is in the wash, so I can't show you everything, but I basically got a four pack of their padded bras and then a four pack of these briefs in like different colors and love. Now I'm going to talk about accessories, jewelry, bags, shoes, etc. So when I went to Melbourne, I went to the Queen Victoria market and I got this frog video and it was so cute. It was really cold in Melbourne. So I got this beanie. Look at his little froggy feet. You can like tie it up if you want to as well. Ah, so cute. Yeah, I might just wear this for the rest of the video. And then I got this um, secondhand Oriton bag from The Turn, which is a second hand um i guess designer marketplace 
um, and it's like a reddish brown vintage leather handbag um, with these circular Oriton logo hardware. I think it's such a, a really nice spacious size without being too big. Uh, it has these like little um, silver hardware so you can like <laughs> prop it on the table so it like stands a little bit. I don't know, I thought that was like a cute little detail. And then inside it's magnetic closure and it has all these compartments. This zipper one and then these two pockety ones and then it's like a soft maybe suede interior. It was on sale as well so I got it for like 94 bucks. <laughs> Majuri gifted me this tiered gold necklace. I think it's such a Nice basics to have, like, to spice up a outfit or something. Um, it can get a little bit tangled, but I do like that it's in one piece, so I can just, like, pick it up and put it on without maybe having to put three different necklaces on. Just have this one piece. And then I went to Chinatown Markets, and I got a bunch of stuff, including this AirPods case. I've been needing a new AirPod case forever because I used to have like this Pon Purin one and only the base was um, still there, like his little hat. Um, I was like, like, I lost it at the gym or something. So it was just this, like, just his face on the base. Um, and then, yeah, I got this pink silicone one. It has this pretty blue flower um, hand strap on it. Also from this market is this pretty tulip um, hair clip. Um, tulips are one of my favourite flowers, pink ones specifically. I hope that looks pretty. <laughs> then finally from the Chinatown Night Market, I got some croc charms. My shoes are dirty so I don't want to like really handle them. <laughs> Um, not all of these ones are from um, Chinatown, like some of them were from a friend, um, so maybe, maybe these ones, these opaque kind of looking ones, this little bear one. And then I wanted to talk about these hair ties, so these are from Kyushu and they make organic cotton and rubber hair ties which are like completely plastic free and I think I was really surprised by the quality of these. They're just like really well made. I like that they're like really tight and they've lasted a really long time as well. Most of my scrunchies are from like Kmart. Um, so whenever I have a shower and need to put my hair up, I feel like I lean towards these ones because they're tighter. You know, my Kmart ones just kind of loosen over time. So yeah, I've been really loving the quality of these and I would really recommend them. And then Windsor Smith was also having a sale. So I got these boots, it was like 40% off, so super good deal. These are tricky and they're a platform like ankle heel boot. The heel is not that high, so they're really comfortable. Um, but I love the chunky heel, like, I love chunky heel. Yeah, I really wanted these Mary Janes instead, but they didn't have my size, so I was so sad. But I still wanted to like, get something because it was like, 40% off, so love. And then finally, accessories wise, this is something of my own creation. I've been getting into crochet lately, and this is like, I'm really proud of this. I made a little coffee cup holder. Um, this is my Fresco stainless steel coffee cup. This is new as well. It's in like this purple color, and it has these markings for the barista. Not that they really use them anyway I think like they always overfill it it spills sometimes when I put the lid back on um so I have to like sip some of the coffee before I put the lid back on which is you know no dramas um but basically yeah I made a little coffee cup holder really proud <laughs> next up is beauty this ordinary glycolic acid has been a game changer I read somewhere that if you used it on your armpits your BO would disappear. And I tried it and I can vouch for that. I bought two magnetic um, makeup palettes. So this is a mini one from Makeup Forever. And it has a little mirror as well. Hi! 
and I got this from I think Adore Beauty. I was thinking this one I could use for like uh, traveling, it's like more compact, um, bring around with me, bring my favorite like palettes and powders with me and you know do touch-ups and stuff. Um, I haven't used any of these yet um, but yeah I'm excited to once I get um, I guess pans for them. Then this one is from Elate, it's a much bigger one. I am still on my Colourpop palettes from like five years ago so I haven't really bought any new makeup since then or I've cleared out all my old makeup but yeah I think moving forward I would like to get like just makeup pans and then put them in these magnetic palettes so I bought a massive one to maybe you know so I have space to collect in the future you know yeah, I'm really excited to build it in like colors I like and then finally I got this body mist from Sol Junero and it literally smells so good like it's the perfect summer scent because it's like coconutty caramelly um macadamia -y. it smells so good <laughs> let me read it for you a voluptuous blend of caramelized vanilla and toasted macadamia nut kisses every craving yeah it does wrap yourself in the warmth of Chirosa 71 which I'm assuming that is the name of it. Yeah, um, I love bringing this to the beach it Makes me feel so tropical, uh, but I also think it is it would be a, quite a nice scent for Maybe autumn as well. So really versatile. Yeah, it feels like toasty, you know, like curling up around the fire in autumn or Coconut girl though. <laughs> um, but bottom line is if you like nuts and specifically macadamia, get it. Just get it. And then now we move on to miscellaneous. This is a tea strainer for loose leaf tea leaves. And I got this from IKEA and they're really cheap. Like a two pack of this was like four dollars. So one of this is just if you do the math. Two dollars, and I've been using it with the Tea Tonic Blue Magic Tea, which is a basically it's a butterfly pea tea. Which, if you know, it is blue, but if you squeeze a little bit of lemon juice, it turns purple. So I guess that's why it's named the Blue Magic Tea. Basically, I just wanted some fragrant oil to top off my color diffuser, so I got this. Grape melon one from Dusk. I'll read the description for you. Grape melon summons the sweet and refreshing fruits of the summer. Ah, this is a summer haul. Ripe, juicy watermelon is mixed with crisp, fresh grapes and a luscious pear, rounded with zingy notes of lemon and grapefruit. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Like, ever since that froggy beanie, I've been feeling a little bit silly. Are they in that pumpkin soup? It is now time for the music segment. I wanted to share three new artists that I have discovered and my favorite songs from them currently. First up, Dane. He is a Melbourneian, Filipino, Australian who makes contemporary hip hop music. I have been really loving her song Boy Thoughts. It's a real bop and it feels really empowering. Artist number two is Chloe Moriondo and I have really been loving her new album Sucker Punch. I really like the song Popstar. Um, it samples a lot of Britney Spears if you seek Amy so really fun and it's a bop as well uh, and then I also like Heart Eyes it's a song about you know, love and wanting someone and hoping they want you back it's a really cute song <laughs> and artist number three is Lexi Lu and probably like my favorite artist right now she can sing in Mandarin English and Spanish and I was like, wow, that's so talented. I watched her 
for tuna music video on YouTube and I just thought it was such a piece of art. Um, so I really like her new album The Happy Star. I literally loved every single song on that album and I'm like well that never happens but I loved every single one and I think there is something for everyone. So I guess the recommended song if you maybe want to check her out is Fortuna. If you like Afro beats, check out RRR. And if you like something a little bit more slow and melodic, check out Bad Dream. And finally, my favorite shows and movies of the season. I binge watched Wednesday, Obsessed, Mystery, Teenage Drama, Fashion. <laughs> Ever since I watched it, I just wore my my hair in pigtails for like two months. And then I just wore black and white and chunky shoes. Yeah, I really recommend the show. I think it was such a good watch. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, I also watched Avatar 2 in cinemas. It is a three hour long movie. No spoilers, just my thoughts on it. It was a very beautiful movie. <sighs> It was a very beautiful movie, as everyone says, so I do recommend still checking it out. Um, did it need to be three hours though? No, it did not need to be three hours. It needed to be cut to two hours. Yeah, I mean, I didn't fall asleep. It wasn't too uncomfortable or bored. Like, I feel like a movie never needs to be three hours, so it just didn't need to be three hours. <laughs> and then finally, I watched Glass Onion, which is the Knives Out series franchise. I don't know, like Knives Out 2, Glass Onion on Netflix. I think it's like my second favorite movie of 2022. So my favorite movie was Everything Everywhere All At Once. And then I think Glass Onion comes just below that. I think it was such a fun movie. It was a piece of art as well. It was perfection, a flawless movie, everything tied up so nicely. The scene of it, art direction of it, the costuming, the lighting sometimes. Everything was done with a purpose. The pacing was really good. The dialogue was really good and I loved it so much. I asked some friends um, who have watched it and have watched Knives Out as well. Some of them said they loved Knives Out even more than Glass Onion. I was shook and uh, I was like honestly offended because I have never heard an opinion so wrong. This is very passionate about this movie. <laughs> and then I watched Knives Out again to kind of understand what they were talking about because I just didn't understand how they enjoyed Knives Out over Glass Onion. And I really rest my case because Glass Onion was a thousand times better than Knives Out. And now I don't want to hype things up because I know when people hype things up to me, I have like really high expectations and usually I'm disappointed. But you know, I heard good things about Glass Onion and when I watched it, I saw good things out of Glass Onion. It was a good movie. Any um, slander towards this movie would not be tolerated. So do not come at me in the comments, but I'm sure no one would because if you got taste, you would agree that it was a superior movie. No offense to your wrong opinions, but yeah, that's my two cents on the shows and movies I've watched this season. And that is the summer haul and my current faves, guys. I really enjoyed talking about my I guess favorite music and movies currently. Um, let me know if I should continue doing that in these hauls and favorites. Um, I might because I think it's a really good idea. Um, and you know, sorry for maybe being a little bit cringe today. I think got a little bit too confident after that beanie. And I hope it was entertaining at least. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.